Welcome back, my friends. It's great to see you. Thanks for tuning in for another SFCM Tiny Dorm series. Uh, we have a really exciting program for you tonight. I'm Jonas Wright, Dean and Chief Academic Officer, and we're really excited to have you here. For those of you joining us for the first time tonight, our Tiny Dorm series is a selection of students, and sometimes faculty and alumni, broadcasting short or shall we say tiny performances from their home. Today, we have performers literally all over the world, many of them here in San Francisco, but often places elsewhere as well. And we're so glad that you're here with us tonight. If you're watching on YouTube, be sure to use the chat box and comment on the performances. Um, I think the performers would love to hear from you and we would love to hear from you too. Um, I would like to thank um, our friends and longstanding supporter, uh, Harry Winston, who has been great to us and has provided a lot of support to our students and to all of our faculty and staff. Once uh, we're all up and moving around, please stop in their store and see what they have in the collection. So for tonight, uh, grab yourself a cocktail or a glass of wine, if you will. Boy, almost like we rehearsed that, right on cue. I myself am uh, drinking a glass of amazing 2017 Pinot Noir from Linmar Estates, a wonderful winery up in Sonoma in the Russian River area. But whatever you have, enjoy. Tonight we have cello performance night, and I am joined tonight with uh, Jean-Michel Fontenot, uh, part of the faculty in the cello department here at the conservatory. His colleagues are Jennifer Culp, uh, Amos Yang, and the legendary Bonnie Hampton. Uh, let's see, Jean-Michel, are you out there? I am, and I will appear very soon. Here I am. Hey, there you are. Great to <laughs> see you. Yes. Why don't you tell us a little bit about the performance tonight? Yes, I will. Um, so, uh, well, first of all, congratulations on your very beautiful French accent. I recognize my name immediately, so thank you. Uh, so I'll, I'll, let's talk about tonight. Um, this is cello night, of course, and well, we're going to have to, uh, we're going to have a lot of music by Bach. Uh, in the program. Uh, the Bach cello suite, uh, who have been written uh, in the early 1700s, are the cellist's Bible. Um, it's a very important uh, work. And inside we find, and we work on everything with them from pure musical lines to harmony, to style, to sound resonance. Um, in the middle of the program, however, we will have two modern works, uh, one from uh, composer Rebecca Clark, uh, who was also a violist and who lived during the 20th century. Uh, and the other piece uh, is going to be from a fellow cellist, Yay Cello, and composer uh, Paul Yanko, who is one of the most successful young composers uh, these days. So this is, this is the program. So we're going to get going immediately. Um, Let's 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 hear about our first performer, who is Maclean Pashkovsky. Um, he will be playing, of course, Johann Sebastian Bach, uh, the prelude and the two minuets uh, from suite number one in G major. Um, hello, Maclean, where are you? Wonderful. Uh, maybe I forgot to say this, but uh, McLean is a student of Jennifer Culp and is about to graduate. So I'm in my final year. Congratulations. All right. We're listening to you. Thank you. 
Congratulations. Uh, wow. Good. And good acoustics to you too at your, your place. It looks like a kind of a, a, a good room for, for cello. Yeah, it's got, it's got a high ceiling and a hardwood floor. So it's just... Very nice. Uh, beautiful. So I, since you're graduating, I have, you know, uh, maybe a couple of questions for you. Uh, 
And one of them would be, you know, to ask you maybe some of your most memorable moments at school uh, during during all these years of studying with with Jennifer Jennifer Culp or you know um, classes. Any 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 memory you you want to you would like to share with us? Um, I think for me as a, as a performer, my favorite ensemble experience has been playing with. Uh, 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 Maestro Wright with the performance of Rachmaninoff Symphonic Dances. That was really special. As a cellist, that's one of the most fun orchestral parts to play, and I really enjoyed that. Um, and as far as performance for myself or an experience for myself, playing for the, the, the late Lynn Harrell back in January was extremely, extremely special. Um, uh, yeah, can you tell us more sad. about about this, maybe? Can you tell us more about your experience with L Lynn Harrell? since you know we've, we've yeah, been talking about him I, uh, he inspired me to, to pursue cello seriously when i was in high school his recordings were really influential on me especially the way that he produces sound sound on the instrument um and i just fell in love with the cello through his recordings and uh and getting to play for him was really special and you know hearing his stories and what 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 uh influenced him and what was special to him it's it, it really it was special um, I'll never forget that. Yeah, yeah, it's one of those experience, experiences that we keep with ourselves all our life, you yeah. know, that keep inspiring us. That's, I agree with exactly. you. Yeah, great. Well, um, any, anything else you want to talk about? Um, for anything you will uh, miss from SFCM? <laughs> I'll miss all my, all my friends. I'm going to miss all, all, all the cellists in my studio class. Oh, and I'm going to miss uh, my teacher, of course, Jennifer. She's, she's helped me so much these last four years. Yeah. 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 Wonderful. Well, thank you so very much. Uh, this welcome. was really, really beautiful. Congratulations. Right. So I guess our next performer uh, now is uh, going to play Bach also. Uh, this is Hang Yu Lin. Hello, Hang Yu. Hang Hello. Yu. Hi, Hang Yu. And I guess you're, this is Mr. Cello that I'm seeing right now. I think so. Correct. Okay. So Hong Yu uh, is a student in my studio at, at the San Francisco Conservatory of Music. And you're, you're, you're going to play uh, the Prelude and the Allemand uh, to the third suite in C major. So we're all ears. Okay. <laughs> Thank you. 
Bravo! Congratulations! Beautiful! Bravo, Hang Yu! Beautiful! Uh, good! Um, so we, you know, uh, we've been working together for for three years now. And um, could you? I, I would like if you could talk a little bit about your relationship with your cello. What are your stories between you and your your cello? What What's happening? Is your cello uh, a good a good to you all the time or what's happening no i don't think he's good to me all the time <laughs> like absolutely not oh uh, i think sometimes we are like best friends mm. sometimes it's really really the enemy for me so like we spend most of the time together but sometimes we argue too and if we argue then i just don't play it <laughs> And then I will come back eventually, I mean. <laughs> and then, then your cello becomes your friend again. Yes. That's a good thing. It's very important for to always making friends with, with the cello. That's, that's good. Um, you, you've told me also about, about your, your, your parents who were supportive, but were not pushing you too hard mm -hmm. to, to, to practice, right? So how was that for you, just growing up with the cello and feeling like you you wanted to practice and all of that? Oh, at the very beginning, because I have homework to do, so I mm. need to practice. Mm. But I, uh, gradually, I become like cello. I think maybe because no one pushing me, so I have the opportunity to like it, I think. Ah, good. Yeah, it's really, really important. I mean, the support from the family is very important when we, when we grow up and want to think that we're, we're going to become a musician. It's very important. Um, and I w I'm just curious about, you know, what your life has been uh, these past two months uh, since you've been you've been in uh, in your room. This is your room that we're seeing right now, I guess. Uh, and tell us actually where your room is. Where oh, are you right now? Oh, it's in San Francisco and the school dorm. Uh, it's panoramic. <laughs> panoramic, OK. So how's your life been these past two months here? What have you done you know, to, 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 to make this a good thing for you? At the beginning, I rest a lot, which is good for me. And then I become like a very busy every day, just like the school life. <laughs> yeah. Yes, yes. Uh, anyway. Yeah, and you've, you've, done, you've done a lot of very good practicing. So that's, that's really, really good. <laughs> Well, congratulations uh, to you and uh, have a good rest of your evening and just cheer for, for the, next, the next performance. Uh, so we're going to move on now. And uh, on our next performer um, is Starla Brashears, and she is a pre-college student. Um, hello, Starla. Hello. Hi. Hi. Welcome. Uh, so. Stella, when I uh, when I first met you, can you tell me how old you were? I was five when I started taking lessons with you. Uh huh. So, and now how old are you? I'm twelve. You're twelve. So it's a right. So I, I was. I, it's really um, fascinating because when I when I knew you, you had this very tiny cello, but that was also a very beautiful instrument. Do you, do you want to talk about the cello that you had at the time? Sure, it was a Bernardelle. It was an eighth size cello, and it had been stolen a long time ago, and we returned it to the owner when, when I was finished with it. Yeah, and 
Yeah, so amazing, such an, a, a great story. So Bernardel was, was a, a very famous French luthier from the middle of the early part and middle part of the 19th century in, in Paris. And I can attest that the cello was absolutely gorgeous. Yes. Um, and how many cellos have, have you had since? Because of course you, you're, you're a lot taller than you were than, than you were when you were five. Um, four. Four cellos. Yes. So what, what is that cello that you have now? Um, this is a Ventapon. Um, it's from Beers in London. My dad got it right before coronavirus struck. Yes, that was that was good. Yeah, I remember uh, your dad just took the plane. It's just like did a trip like two days or three days to London and back. Yeah, that was fast. Good. All right. So what wonderful. What are you going to play for us tonight? Tell I'm us. I'm going to play the Saravon and Borets of Box Suite number four. OK, we're all ears.
Sarla, wonderful, wonderful. That was so good. What a treat to hear suites one, three, and four from you all to start. Now, Starla, I think I've seen you um, perform a couple of times on our tiny dorm already. Is that true? Yes. How many times have you been on? I think four. Yeah, it's been great every time. Uh, thank you for joining us tonight, and I look forward to when I can see you again and hear you. We're gonna be joined again here just shortly uh, with uh, Jean-Michel Fontenot uh, from the cello department. There he is, Jean-Michel. You're doing great work with these uh, these uh, youngsters and uh, students. Uh, you. They all sound really great. And like I said to Starla, what a treat to hear uh, one, three, and four. Um, really great. Yes. You know, I wanted to ask you just a couple of questions, Jean-Michel. Um, tell me, uh, well, talk a little bit about maybe some of the recent successes that we've had of graduating students uh, coming out of the cello department. Okay, um, uh, where to start? Um, well, we have, uh, we've had for, for quite a few years here at school, a uh, piano trio, the, the Oak Trio, uh, and then uh, Bowen, uh, Bowen New, the, the cellist, um, they, uh, who studies with Jennifer Kopp, uh, they were in the live round, they were admitted in the live round at the Osaka uh, Piano Trio competition. Uh, well, that's been canceled, postponed for now, but they were admitted there. And so it's really, really important achievement. It's a big competition. Uh, so that's that's one. Uh, uh, Matt, Matthew Park, uh, who is still a student at school, has played recently with the Kronos Quartet, uh, very recently. Uh, we have a recent graduate, Mia Pixley, who, who is a wonderful singer, writes songs for, for cello, and her, herself singing. Uh, she keeps being very creative. Apparently, she's keep, keep going on very strongly that way. Yeah, uh, if, you, if you're a person that lives here in the Bay Area and you get a chance to go hear Mia play once uh, we're off and uh, moving around again, I could not recommend it enough. She's really a brilliant musician. Absolutely, yeah, agreed. And so, uh, so recent, you know, Evan uh, Khan, uh, who graduated uh, very recently, uh, has been very su successful uh, in the Bay Area, uh, just playing um, uh, with um, as a so um, principal cellist uh, in, uh, in various orchestras around here. Um, not too recent, maybe, but really quite recent enough. Uh, uh, one of my students, Matt Lineman, has done a TED talk about about how he uh, managed to buy a very beautiful French cello from the early 19th century. And that was kind of a very, very impressive that he was able to pull that off. Um, That's um, great. They're, they're all doing wonderful. Um, I wonder what advice you might have for young cello students, somebody who's in high school and looking to start in conservatory um, is an undergrad or even maybe an undergrad that's uh, looking to apply as a master's student. What advice would you have for them? Okay, um, well, first of all, I would, I would uh, well, one of the first things that I tell my students uh, uh, who would be, for instance, in high school and prepare for a bachelor is just really making sure that their foundations are really mm -hmm. solid before they get to, to a, a college uh, because a lot of things are gonna change right away. Uh, new friends, new place, new teacher, uh, different kinds of classes. So just really making sure that that everything is, well, everything, a lot of things are there. And, and then, uh, so that's one of the first things. So it, it's, it, 
it's addressing the, the cello playing, the technical aspect of it, but also the knowledge of the music of, of, and also the way they prepare. So their preparation in terms of practicing, are they really efficient or does it take them a lot of time to, to get from beginning to the end of a piece and learn it? Uh, so that's, that's one, one thing. A uh, very important thing is really to be in touch with their future teachers. Uh, so because they could, they could get a, a, a feel for the school, they could get a feel for what, what the relationship with the teacher would be. And it's a very, very important part of that as well. Um, um, another thing is uh, review those musicianship skills that ah, you yes. have. Review those so that when you get to, to a new school, you, you feel confident about what, what you know. And it could be really so helpful for uh, of course, well, passing the, the classes, but also for your instrument lessons. It's not only for cello, but you know how you address the instrument uh, uh, relates to how well you understand the musicianship skills. So, it's one great of the, advice, Jean Michel. Great yeah. advice. There are so many, but you know. <laughs> yeah. Well, uh, I'm just going to just give a quick shout to, to everybody out there. Thanks for tuning in. If you're watching on YouTube, please uh, be sure to add the comments in the chat box. I know that. The performers love to hear from you. It's great to see so many former and current students. Uh, for those of you that really like what you hear tonight, you can always go to sfcm.edu and look for the Give button um, and make a gift of support to these students uh, that helps with scholarship and so many other things. Uh, and so many of you have been so generous to us through this tiny dorm series that uh, we really want to thank you. Um, Jean-Michel, I'm going to turn it over to you and I'll uh, follow up with you at the end of the program. Thank well, you so much. Thank you. So our next performers, and not just one, we have a duet, uh, a duet for viola and cello. They're going to play for us two uh, different pieces. Uh, uh, the first one is going to be a piece by Rebecca Clark, who, uh, I, as I said earlier, uh, was a, a violistic composer from, uh, from the better part of the 20th century. And the next piece is going to be a, a a duo uh, by Paul Rianco, who is a really, really successful uh, composer nowadays and also a fellow cellist. Uh, so, um, hello, Mitzo Flor and Rocio Lopez Sanchez. Hi, hi, hi. Thank you. There you are. Thank you for having us. Where are you? Where are you now? We are in San Francisco. In San Francisco. We can be here. In a home, in a house. Yeah. <laughs> Very nice decor. Yeah, we have a nice backyard here, so we can have some yeah. air, some sun. Yeah. Wonderful. So that's nice. Well, do you want to? Do you want to uh, introduce? I mean, talk a little bit about your pieces, or yeah, or I mean, you explained a little bit. And this first, we're gonna play this Rebecca Clark, two pieces, and they are two little pieces, super contrasting between um, each other, and so descriptive. So with the title, you get the sense of it. And they're really nice. And a quick note is that I realized too late that I didn't have a mute with me. So I'm using low spin. <laughs> so it is not a fancy thing. It's just a quarantine, quarantine mute when I'm... It works. Yeah, <laughs> it works. So <laughs> that's it. And then the, the Bianco piece, I listened to it a few months ago and I immediately loved it. I think being a cellist, he writes in a very organic and natural way for string instruments. So immediately it just speaks. And it was such a cool experience to work on that piece. Wonderful. So uh, so the, the titles for the movements of the, the Clark are? Lullaby, Lullaby and Grotesque. And Grotesque. And maybe you could introduce, well, you could just tell the, the say the title uh, of the, the next piece uh, as you're about to play it. To play it. Uh, what's yeah, so like, for the Bianco? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, and we'll probably return. Just okay. Okay. Great. We'll return. Um, and I'll announce when we're changing. <laughs> okay. Rothio is a student of Jennifer Kolb, and uh, Mitso uh, was a student of Dimitri Murath here at SFCM, and is now studying with uh, Jody Levitz in Miami. All right. Thank you.
Thank you. 
Bravo. <laughs> wow. Both pieces, but it's just like I really love the Bianco. It's just so wonderful, so creative. Uh, uh, wow. Isn't that wonderful to be able to play live with another person in the same room? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we are so lucky. Yeah, so yes. Really take yes. it for granted sometimes. Uh, that is, it's one of the things, yeah, that we do take for granted at first, and then because of what's happening right now, we 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 discover how precious that is. You know, that having having the sounds live that way. But it's it doesn't mean necessarily that we cannot find other solutions uh, with with that. I think you guys have a pretty good equipment for the sound. Yeah. yeah. He has good. good microphones. Right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Good, great. Yeah. Um, uh, tell us a little bit about your experience about the the Paul Yanko's piece. Uh, I know that you have not met with him yet. Yeah, <laughs> but, you know, but have, how, how have you worked on it? Yeah, we just as soon as we heard the piece, it was it is amazing. So we want to play it. And so the score is available in his website. So that was an easy, easy quarantine. Okay, we can play it being yeah. together. And it was, this is like super well written for the instruments. And it is so nice. It is nice to listen to and to play. It is super, uh, uh, how do you say? Not, <laughs> to, well. yeah. And it is great to perform. It's fun to yeah. play. That's that's wonderful. Do you do you plan on on meeting him at one point or calling him, emailing, having? Yeah, that would be great. Yeah. yeah, he's a great guy. Yeah. Yeah. Wow. Well, congratulations. That was really beautiful. Thank you for doing this. Uh, and I guess um, now we're gonna have uh, we're gonna move on to uh, uh, another um, cello suite by Bach uh, with Paul Paul Lee. Hello, Paul. Are you here? Hi, yes, I'm here. Hello. Paul. Welcome. Hello. Welcome. So, um, Paul is going to play uh, the Allemande to the uh, Sixth Suite uh, by, uh, by Bach, of course. And Paul is in my studio at the San Francisco Conservatory of Music. Go ahead, Paul, let's think to you.
Bravo. <laughs> Bravo, Paul. Beautiful. We, uh, we were looking at, at, at your cello and it's kind of glowing and everything, of course, with the, the sunlight and everything. So that was, yeah. that was kind of special. Uh, 
uh, tell us where you are f where you are right now. So I'm currently in New Zealand, uh, where I grew up. So I'm back home at my parents' house. Yeah. Now, what time is it over there? It's uh, it's ten past one in the afternoon. But in the afternoon. Uh, it's uh, Wednesday for us. So oh, we're, yeah, we're in the future. Yeah. You're already in the future. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so what's what's gonna happen in the future tomorrow? So far, so good. So far, so good. Okay. No aliens or anything, so. <laughs> I believe you. That's good. Great. Well, um, this this was quite wonderful. Um, do you want to just tell us a little bit, uh, briefly about about your experience in your first year um, at school at, at the San Francisco Conservatory of Music? Sure. Yeah. Uh, well, I think everything was new, um, just because I grew up in New Zealand. So, just moving to America itself was um, was a big change, but. Uh, yeah, it's just it just feels like a whole big family uh, in San Francisco Conservatory. Everyone's very super friendly and supportive, and um, I think also the education there is, you know, it's great. I think I've learned a lot even in that short kind of one year. So yeah, it's been really life changing. Yeah. <laughs> well, wonderful. That's that's. Thank you so much for 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 your words, and thank you for playing so beautifully. Um, so we're gonna move on and now to our last performer uh, so uh, she is going to play uh, the last two movements of the same suite the sixth cello suite by Bach uh, so the Kavats and the Gig. Uh, this is uh, Jia Yu Chen and she is a student of Amos Yan uh, so hello Jia Yu hi hi welcome <laughs> So go ahead, just we're, we're listening with all ears. Thank you. 
Congratulations, that was beautiful. That's great. Thank Bravo. You. Um, um, so you apparently you like to dance. You, you sent me this, this email about that. And just tell us about actually about these movements, you know, these two, the Gavots and, and the Gig. Why, why is it so interesting for you for, for the dance aspect of it? Um, Bach number six is always my favorite. And um, yeah, I like them so much. And I found out that when I play these two movements, I have to arrange every part of my muscle very organized. Then, then I can, because the chord and melody in these two movements is very wide, it's, it has a wide range, then I have to use a lot shoulder and elbow to project it. So I found this pretty cool and very interesting. Yeah, very physical, a lot of, a lot of movement from, from the body. Well, that was that was really, really beautiful. Thank, Thank you, you so much. Thank you. So I guess um, you guys, this is this is a wrap for tonight. Um, and we're I'm, we're really glad that you that you join us here. Um, if you if you like what you heard, uh, please share this tiny dome concert online. Um, invite friends to watch with you tomorrow or follow us FCM on social media, or even consider making a, a gift to support the students who are working so hard during this time. So uh, I guess we will be back here live on May 15. Back uh, here on Friday, yeah. Yeah, this Friday. Yeah, so we, we have we have the, the grand finale uh, on the evening at five? Yeah, the 15th. 5 a.m. And the uh, and voice come and do some really great performances for us. It'll be wonderful. Yeah, I, I heard that they're, they're, we're going to hear some uh, Into the Woods, Die Fleur de Mouse, and uh, Firebird Motel. Yes. So, so, so um, I guess we should bring everybody back. Um, yeah, everybody come on back and let's say goodbye. Back, like say hello and goodbye to everyone. And... All of you have a great night. <laughs>